Hello and welcome to my first ever video. This is probably going to be pretty bad, but I hope you enjoy it anyway. Um, I'm going to be showing off my manga collection as of 2021. So let's just get started. Firstly, let's start on the top shelf here, should we? Um, got the Monogatari series box set one and two. Um, I haven't read these yet, but the anime is good and the story basically consists of sort of su supernatural occurrences surrounding like each character in the series and the main character has to sort of sort out their problem or whatever they're having. Next to that we've got um, The Executioner and Her Way of Life. I read this pretty recently, it was it was pretty good. It wasn't amazing, but it was pretty good. Um, it's about this was an isekai about a person who has to kill the people, the humans who come into the isekai world. The concept's pretty interesting, but it wasn't, it was just okay. It wasn't great. Then we got Spy Classroom. It's, um, it's pretty good actually. I enjoyed, well, the first volume anyway. Interesting, good characters. Pretty, pretty good all round. It's about these seven girls, I think it is. They, um, get summoned out of this like spy school because they're like really bad in the school and um they get put into this sort of like special special task force and they have to do spy stuff that's about all i got from the first volume but pre-ordered the second and looking forward to reading it i've got the Next we've got The Detective is Already Dead, um, volumes 1 and 2. This one is also another good one I like. I've only read the first volume for this. I'm waiting to get a few more volumes before I continue. It's about a detective's assistant who is basically sort of solving cases in the place of the detective that is already dead, as the title says. It was good and loud recommend it if I use. It's also got an anime that just came out, so if you like like that, maybe check that out. Next we've got Sword Art Online Progressive. Um, this is, I know a lot of people hate Sword Art Online, and to be honest, the anime is pretty meh. It's not great. Um, but Progressive is the sort of like retelling of the story. I haven't read this yet, but the movie looked really good, so... I'm going to be reading them. Volume 7 is just going to come out this month, I think, so. Probably start that when I get that. Uh, if you don't know about Sword Online, it's Isekai, where you go into a game. If you die in the game, you die in real life. So, next we've got 86. I think I've read up to Volume 6 of this. It's also got an anime coming out. Well, they might. No, it's still got two episodes before it finishes, I think. Um, it's pretty good. It's a mecha series. And um, it's about these sort of like third class citizens getting sent to fight a war for like a different race. And it's pretty good. It's good like politics and stuff. I would probably rec recommend it. Volume 9 is coming out in January too, so. No, actually it's February, but um, yeah, recommend it. Next, I've got one that I've never seen in anyone else's collection. It's Keely. I haven't read this yet. I only got this quite recently. So, um, Jesus Christ, if you don't know, this is the top shelf. It's quite timely lifting this camera up all the way up here. But um, yeah, Keely, I don't know much about it. It's about a girl who can see ghosts, I think. And then a man who can see ghosts and they're like to go on a journey or something. I'm not sure, but it looked interesting. And yeah, I like the spines of these a lot though. They look really good. Next we've got Three Days of Happiness. I read the manga online for this, which is the adaptation of this light novel. Um, really like that. Thought that was really good. So I picked up the light novel and I've read it and it's well, it's the same story, so I liked it as well. But um, yeah, it's a hardcover too, so it's a bit a bit different from your average light novel. Uh, it's about 
What is it about him? Oh yeah, a guy who sells his life for 3,000 yen or 30,000 yen, can't remember. And, um, well, he sells it because he's, he basically has a shit life, so. But then he meets someone and things turn around. It's a pretty nice heartwarming story. Would recommend it. Then you got Welcome to the NHK. Uh, this is, I watched the anime for this a bit ago. I really like this show, so I had to pick up the original light novel. Well, it's actually a novel, I don't think it's even a light novel. But, um, really like this. It's about Hikikomori, who just sort of does nothing in life, and he meets this girl who sort of turns his life around. It's very, it's pretty fun, actually. It's it's just a really nice story. Would, would really recommend it. It's got, to be honest, I'd recommend the anime a lot. I haven't read this, so I don't know how good this is in comparison, but... Yeah. Next we've got Gossip Volume 1 and 2. Um, it's a shame because this is from Tokyo Pop. And Tokyo Pop we don't do much these days. So um, yeah, this, I think there's nine volumes in the whole series, but only two ever got released in English. I'm actually reading this right now, but I've watched the um, anime. And yeah, I like that. So, and these were really cheap when I got them, so. Well, I'd pick them up. It's about this like gothic girl who solves mysteries basically. That's the whole story. It's just different mysteries. But it's pretty good. Jesus Christ, it's it's high up up here. Okay, moving down the shelf. Some more light doors. And I saw you if you're here for only manga because you know this is taking a while. But um, you know, there's gonna be a lot more. Uh we've got Konosuba. And the Konosuba 2, what is this, Konosuba, well, they're, uh, they're too small to read from here, but two of the side stories, and um, yeah, Konosuba, it's great, the anime is really popular, it's just a comedy, isekai, it's great, so, would recommend, I've read up to volume 13 here, but I haven't read the side stories, so, I think there's 17 volumes in total, so when... I get both of them. I'm going to reread it with the side stories and yeah. Next week we've got um, Oregairu or my euphemetic comedy as wrong as I expected. Got 12 volumes of this. Well technically what well, I've got 15 volumes here because this series has 0.5 volumes which are like I don't know like in between the volumes I guess. Uh, really like this anime it's one of my favourite so I had to pick this up. Haven't read this at all either because I'm just waiting for it to finish. It's only got, well, it's got two volumes left until it finishes. But then there's, he, the author, I think, released another, like, 0.5 volume. So technically it's three volumes. So, yeah, I'm going to have to wait until that comes up before I finish that. Another similar one, Rascal Does Not Dream of Bunny Girl Senpai. Watch the anime for this. It's one of my favourites also. Haven't read it either because I was waiting to get up to Dreaming Girl because the Dream Girl is where the well the anime finished off. It had its own movie that one. So now that I've got this, I can sort of read everything from the anime and anything past this is new content. Uh, if you want to know about it, oh, I forgot about the guy with. It's basically a rom com drama. That's really good. If you wanted to know. Pretty similar with Rascal Does Not Dream of Bunny Girl Senpai, it's a supernatural, I guess you would call it, uh, sort of rom-com drama sort of thing. It's just about sort of like odd things happening to each girl and the main character has to sort of sort them out. But it's just really good and I'd really recommend it. Next we've got I Want to Eat Your Pancreas. Um, watch the movie. A lot of light novels I've seen the anime for, and I just got them because I like the anime, I wanted to read them. Um, but yeah, I Want to Eat Your Pancreas is really good. It's about a girl who's ill and she wants to help. She basically wants to spend her last few months, I think, um, doing what she wants and stuff, Me staying with this boy who's the main character. 
it is pretty sad, but it's a good story, would recommend it. Um, next, well, these three here are all from the same author. So I liked Armored Age Pancreas, so probably gonna like the others, but I haven't read the other two. The other two are I Had That Same Dream Again and I Have a Secret. Um, yeah, I basically don't even know what they're about, but I'm looking forward to reading them. Okay, so that's all of the light novels I have, so far anyway. Moving on, we have Aria, the masterpiece. I am missing volume 5 for this, but it is ordered, and it should come in May, I think, of this year. So, Aria, I haven't read this, haven't even watched the anime for this, but I, yeah, I don't know what, it's about people living on Neo... Mars or Venus or something and I think she has a comedy to be honest. She has a fun comedy. Looking forward to it. Should be good. I love these. These are not my favourite spines. And if you can't see these, this gold like glows in the light. It's just, it's just really nice. So yeah, definitely going to read that when I get volume 5. Also I think you might want to know, I don't like reading in sort of segments. I like to wait until I have all of a series or like a lot of it before I read like a big chunk so if there's a series that I have that's missing like a volume I just won't read it because I'll, I'll wait until I got it all so yeah okay that's that shelf moving down one we got Blood and Tracks Shuzo Shimi's newest work I think or at least newest in English um it's about a mother who is overprotective to like a crazy extent and um yeah it's basically like it's pretty dark it's like psychological it's it's really good actually i've only read up to volume three but i am waiting for a few more volumes and then i'll probably read on i think there's 11 volumes in japan right now but yeah Shizu Shimi's works don't usually run on for that long so i'm wondering how long it's going to continue going for but yeah, I would recommend it so far from reading the first three volumes. Next we have Evangelion, the original singles. Well, not the original, there was a, there was a one, even older one than this, but um, yeah, I got these because, like Evangelion, I thought the omnibuses were a bit meh. I like singles over omnibuses any day. And I think these spines look really nice, except for volume four, which is a hardcover. I'm gonna uh, buy a new new volume 4 and this collection is missing volume 9 so once I get a new volume 4 and 9 I'm gonna read this already know the story now I think but even getting it's like a new story every time you read it anyway so it doesn't really matter it's about how do you even describe even getting mecha with aliens and it's confusing it, it's just confusion, that's what series is, but I would recommend it. Next we have Coming Car Communicate 116, one of my favourite series. Um, yeah, it's just it's just a slice of life comedy, it's just really fun. Put up to volume 13 I think right now. Would, there's not much to say, it's just really good and it's got an anime. It, the first core ended just now I think. And it's getting a second call in like three months or something. I haven't watched it because I'm the same with my anime as I am with my manga. I only like to watch it when it's fully complete or like the season's complete. So waiting for the second call to finish and then I'll watch it with that. But yeah, really recommend it. If you want just a fun time, just funny, sweet, just read really me. Um, Sundame. This is a interesting one. It's um very etchy. I haven't read it yet. I got this super cheap, £36, when it goes to like 250 to 350 It's crazy how expensive it is. So I only bought this because it was cheap. But um don't I I don't even know what it's really about. I think it's just a comic like an etchy comedy. I'm not really sure. Slice of life sort of thing, but it doesn't actually look too bad from I've like skimmed like through it, but yeah, looking forward to that. And, you know, if I don't like it, I don't like it, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I've just said it. Um, 
another shoe that she work is Flowers of Evil, the singles again. Again, I don't really like the omnibuses, so I got the singles. Um, this, I've read up to volume three, and I don't really know what happens later on. It's about a boy who picks up a PE kit of a girl and wears it, I think. Yeah, he wears it and then he gets caught and then blackmailing happens and it's very, it's messed up and stuff. But it's really popular. Everyone who's read it says they like it, so I'll pick up. And these, I really like these spines. I think they look vertical, I think do some of the nicest, like they're really expensive vertical as a publisher, but they make some of the nicest like physical volumes, I think. So yeah. Flowers of Evil. Going to be continuing that pretty soon. And here we have Seraph of the End, along with my book depository bookmarks. Volume 1 to 6. Read all of this. There's obviously tons more volumes, but the, like, volume 7 to 14, I think, are, like, out of print. So they're, like, annoying to get. But when I find a good deal, I will continue this really like it. It's about vampires who take over the world and the humans have to fight the vampires with these demons. And it's just really good. I don't know. It's just it's shonen but good shonen. Next we have a series that everybody wants but nobody has because it's impossible to get a hold of. Um, Chainsaw Man. Haven't read this because it's I could read it now, but there's only 11 volumes in the series, and I'm on 8, so I might as well just wait, and the release schedule's so quick for Chainsaw Man, that it's going to be no time before I've got the whole series, so I'm just going to wait until I've got it complete and then read it, but it, the art looks great, it's, I've seen the trailer for the anime by Mappa, that looks amazing, so yeah, gonna. it's about a boy who turns into... Well, he's in the title, Chainsaw Man. And I think he fights, like, demons or something. But yeah, looking forward to that. Next we have School Rumble, 1 to 13. Still missing the last volume, the Omnibus. Volume, the 14, 15, 16. Been trying to get a hold of that for a while now. For a good price, anyway. Um, School Rumble. I watched the anime. And I fell in love. It was so funny. One of the funniest shows I've ever watched. And, um... I'd have the manga. It's a shame because I think there's 22 volumes in total, but only 16 were ever published in English. So it's a shame, but at least a quite a decent chunk of it was published. So yeah, I'm going to get volume 16, or the last Omnibus volume, and then read through this. But it's just, it's just, just so funny. It's just a comedy slice of life about this guy here. He's um, a delinquent. But he's in love with this girl. Um, and it's just funny because it's just a love triangle. But just a super funny love triangle. Yeah, so just just read it. It's just great. Then we have Chobits, the singles. I'm actually going to be selling these because I got the Chobits anniversary editions. I just recently read this and I absolutely love this. I think Summer Clamp series can be a bit meh. But Chobits is not one of them. It's so good. It's about a AI robot. Well, in this world, computers are like shaped like people. And it's basically about a guy falling in love with his computer. And yeah, it's just really nice. Chi is one of the cutest characters there is. And yeah, just, just read it. It's just really good. Next, we've got Jokes for volume 1 to 15. I absolutely hate these first four volumes. I mean, I love the series. It's amazing. I haven't read it yet, but I've read As a Manga Dio, and that's one of my favourite series. It's so funny. I love um, Kiyohiko Azuma. He's just great. So, I mean, I'm waiting because I bought these first four volumes because the first four are a little bit hard to get hold of. But the seller I got them from didn't mention that they smelled like cigarettes, so that's fun. And it's not fun to read when you've got a face full of, you know, smelly cigarette pages and stuff. So I'm going to be saying these when I can find 
another volume one to four and then i'll read it but um yeah i can't wait this is gonna be amazing if you haven't read yotsuba or as a manga dial you just need to it's one of the best manga days so moving down again a level we have after the rain this is a pretty recent one i haven't had this for very long i haven't read it but i've watched the anime really like the anime it's um I mean, it's, it's an age gap, but it's one of the better age gap anime there is. Uh, the arts, what was Jin Mayazuki is, her art's kind of really unique, and it just looks really good. I'd really recommend it. It's, obviously, I've only watched the anime, so, and that covers probably, well, these are omnibus, so probably only up to the second omnibus. So, I've still got a lot to go through, but gonna gonna be... Fun to see where the story goes after the anime. Yeah, so if you want to know what it's about, it's literally just an age gap romance. But it's pretty well done. Then we've got the Gantz Omnibus. And I guess we'll count Gantz G, which is a spin-off. I really want the Gantz singles, but obviously they cost a fortune. If I can find a good deal for the singles, I will definitely get them. But in the meantime, I've got the Omnibuses. Gantz is amazing. It's Just go read it. It's... The art is incredible. It's the story is really good. It's just action after action after action. It never stops. Like the pace, it just it's just great. You should read it. It's about when people die, they get sent to this room, and there's an orb, and it sends them to kill aliens to get points to then like exchange those points for being reborn, basically. But it's so good, and the aliens they fight are so unique. And, and yeah, just just read it. Um, Gantz G is literally the same story as Gantz. They it's just like girls. That's why it's called G. It stands for girls. It's instead of the main characters, it's uh, like a class of girls who get sent to do the killing. And it's basically just like a spin-off where they just take on one alien. Then we have Whispered Words. This I read the first omnibus. Didn't really like it. I bought it because the spines look pretty nice and I hadn't seen anywhere else. But I'm gonna be selling these. I didn't really enjoy it. I thought it was pretty pretty boring. It had a good score from Annie List and Mal, but it wasn't really my cup of tea. I can see how it could be someone, but it is also a shoujo, so some shoujos I quite like, but this is like a bit too much show there. It's a shoujo y Jesus. But yeah. It's about it's literally just a jury sort of comedy slice of life thing. But yeah, not really my thing. So that's the end of this bookcase, but not the end for the collection. So let's move over here. We have Spy Family, volume two two six. Obviously I'm missing volume one. That is on the way. But uh, in the meantime, I obviously can't read it without volume one. It's about, well, it's kind of in the title, Spy Family. They're a, there's a man and he has to make a family for one of his missions. And it's just a, it's just a comedy, basically. I haven't read it, obviously, but from the trailers for the anime that's coming out, it looks really good. So yeah, looking forward to reading that. Then we've got Those Not So Sweet Boys, which is a shoujo. I read the first volume, it was pretty good, so I thought I'd pick up some more, but it the story kind of fell off a bit. I thought it got a bit boring, so I'm probably going to be selling these. It's just a generic shoujo, basically, just romance. Then we got Genshiken and Genshiken second season, which is technically the same series, because in Japan, second season isn't like a second series it's just a continuation and it volume one of second season is volume 10 in japan so it's a bit weird how they did it in english but yeah uh Genshin, i haven't read it yet but it's pretty it looks good it looks like something i'll enjoy it's a comedy it's about otaku stuff and yeah it's about a otaku club i think that just muck around and it's just a comedy really but looking forward to that then we've got Quintessential Quintuplets. Uh, 
one of my favourite. I watched the anime really early on. And, um, yeah, I just loved it. This, it's, a, it's like the best Hallam, I would say, ever. It's really, really funny. The drama's good. All the characters are good. It's actually hard to pick, like, which girl in the Hallam you're rooting for. Because they're just all such good characters. So, I mean, yeah. It's just really, really good. I really recommend it. Um, the movie is coming out, which is... The adaptation of the, like the last few volumes i think this year and i'm definitely going to be watching that and honestly the new studio that picked it up after like season one like season one was done by who was it i can't remember but the second season and the movie are done by studio bibri and they've knocked out of the park they've made it amazing so yeah really good really recommend it go read it Next we have uh, a tropical fish goes for snow. This is a number shoujo actually. Um, although it's got really, I've read Bloom and Chew. I don't own it, but I really like that. And um, this sort of seems like a pretty similar sort of story. So haven't read it. Got one more volume until it's complete. So waiting for that to come out. Then I'll read it. But yeah, it's a Yuri. So Yuri stuff. Then we got Astra, Lost in Space, complete. Um, this is about people being lost in space on a ship called the Astra. But it's really good. There's loads of twists, actually. It starts off pretty, like, generic. You think you know what's going to happen, but then things start to happen that you really didn't predict. And um, it really gets good. I think the first volume is, like, okay. I was sort of, like, meh on it. And then the second, I was like, this is this is pretty decent. And then like the third volume hits and it's like, yeah, okay, this is good. And it just it just gets better from there. So yeah, it's also really cheap. I think, you, can, you know, it costs like nothing to complete this series. So I would really recommend it if you're like a beginner. It's like, also there's a Sakura, that's a bay. But yeah, moving down, this is probably going to be a bit annoying for you because I can't be bothered to move all the books in front. I should probably get some risers, but that's a lot of effort. So, in the back, we have a um, One Week Friends. I need to forget the name. Uh, read the, well, saw the anime, really liked it. It's about a girl who, after a week, forgets all her friends. And um, yeah, it's a romance drama, but the drama's not that intense. but. It's just really sweet. I really, really enjoyed it, and uh, I'd recommend it. Don't see many people actually talking about it or own it, so we'd like it some more people knew about it. But yeah. And then we got voices. Land of the Lustrous. You're probably wondering how I can tell with really the Kodansha logo showing, but I just know. Uh, Land of the Lustrous. Really good. The anime is incredible. One of my favourites. Probably said. Half of these stuff is one of my favourites, but, you know, that's why I own them. Um, it's about this island where all the people on it are basically jewels. Or gems or whatever. And, um, yeah, it's about them fighting these monsters that come from... I don't know where they come from. Well, actually I do. I've... They come from space. But yeah. Would really recommend. And then here on the end we have Fire Punch. I just got this today, to be honest. Um, it's by the same, by the author of uh, Chainsaw Man. Don't know really much about it at all, to be honest. So I can't really tell you much about it. But yeah, you know, it's by the same author as Fire Punch. Uh, not Fire Punch, Chainsaw Man. So should be good. And yeah. Can't we? Really, that's about it. Sorry if you're interested in that. <laughs> Next we've got Kinemo Mosaic. Uh, again, this one got a movie just a few months ago that finished it off. Really good series. It's for coma, just sweet, fun, classic, you know. It's just a comedy. Comedy slice of life. That sort of thing. Um, yeah, so it's actually sort of thing. You'll probably like it. It's about a British girl who goes to Japan. And if you couldn't tell, 
um, British, so I had to get it. But yeah, next we have New Game, volume 1 to 11, I think. Waiting, haven't read this, seen the anime, like the anime. Uh, it still has two more volumes before it's finished, so I'm waiting for that. And um, yeah, it's about a girl who goes to work at a game studio and she, yeah, she goes to work then. It's just a slice of life comedy, basically. Pretty funny. I like the characters. Really good art. And that's one thing about this. The art is really, really good. Yeah. Next, we have Sunshine Sketch 1 to 10. This can be a bit of an annoying series to get hold of because it's, it's so old, the series. Like, it's been running for ages. But, um, watch, I haven't read it either a lot. A lot of the ones back here I haven't read, but um, watch the anime, so thought I'd get it. Um, yeah, I'll read it in a bit, and it's going to be forever until volume 11 comes out, if it ever does. So, yeah. Then, we have today's menu for the Emya family. And um, this is basically a Fate spin-off about cooking, and I mean, I love Fate. So, if you couldn't notice by the Sakura and Ryder Essa berries, but so I had to get this, and it's just really funny. It's just sweet fun. You actually learn some stuff about cooking. Yeah, would recommend it. Takes forever. The thing is, Denpa's releasing this, but it's been like two years since they released Volume Three, and it is oh my god. There's like I can't remember. There's like seven or eight volumes in Japan, but Denpa just doesn't want to release volumes. So, yeah, it's going to be a while before we get much more of that. Then we have one to four of My Dress Up Darling. Um, this is getting an anime too. It's about cosplay and making cosplay designs. And that's basically it. It's just about this guy who makes cosplay for this really popular girl. It, I actually really like this. It's become one of my favourites. Um, it's just really funny. The art's really good. It, the art's a little bit etchy, but like not super etchy, and it's just like it's just the right amount of etchy. So if that's your thing, I would recommend it. Then we have. Give me a second. What's the title of this? Um, I'm gonna cheat and see. It is. Whisper Me A Love Song. I knew that. 100%. Whisper Me A Love Song, Volume 1 to 4. That's what's out now. Um, I read Volume 1 to 5 digitally. I thought it was pretty decent, so decided to pick it up. Obviously, I only got Volume 1 to 4, so I still need Volume 5, and then anything after that is new content for me. But yeah, so it's, it's probably going to be a while before I reread these. Yeah, it's a Yuri about this tall girl who plays the guitar and this short girl who likes listening to her play the guitar. And yeah, it's just a Yuri. <laughs> you can't say much about them. Romance, drama, all the normal stuff. So yeah, if that's your thing, check it out. Then we have uh, Shikamori's Not Just a Cutie. Haven't read any of this. I've got Volume 8 pre-ordered, so... Waiting for Volume 8 to come out, and then I'm going to read it all. Well, everything here. It's a... You might have noticed, I kind of like my just slice of life comedies. So I've got a lot of them, which is what this is. Uh, just about this girl, and... To be honest, I can't tell you much because I haven't read it, but... I think she, like, has a sort of scary look or something. But her boyfriend thinks she's cute or something. I don't, I don't know, but it looks, the art looks good, it looks interesting, I'll check it out, I'll probably like it. Next, we've got a one volume series, it's Shino Can't Say Her Name. I read this pretty recently, it's by Shuzo Shimi, so the author of The Flowers of Evil. I would recommend it actually as a one shot, I don't like one shots usually, I don't think they have like enough time in one volume to make a good story but I really think this is um 
one of the few that actually uses its time really well and I'll definitely enjoy it. It's about a girl who has trouble speaking or pronouncing vowels I think, that's what it was. And her name is Shino, so her, en her name ends in a vowel, so she can't say her own name. And um, yeah, but it's about her overcoming that and pretty good series, pretty sweet. Next we have a bit of an odd one, Lucky Star Volume 8 without anything else. I got this by itself because it was really cheap and Volume 8 is like impossible to get. So I'm trying to get Lucky Star but I'm just waiting for like the other volumes to go for a good price. But I just bought this one now because it's it costs like a hundred pound like just to buy it singly so I got it while it was cheap and it's just sitting there. And Lucky Star is just a four coma comedy manga. But it, it was published by Bandai Entertainment, which doesn't exist anymore. So, Volume 8 is the last volume. Even though I think there's 10 volumes in Japan. So yeah, that's a bit of a shame. Then we have Volume 1 and then Volume 4 to 7 of Inside Maui, another Shuzo Shimi series. Um, I read this online, but then I really liked it, so decided to pick up physically so I'm not in a rush to get it because I've already read it but yeah it's about it's basically a body swap situation so a boy goes into a girl's body and yeah but this is like a mystery toward in it too and just to figure out how to get out of her body but the drama and I mean it's, it's usually the humans are alone it's enough so you know there you go would recommend it I know it's not Everyone's cup of tea, but I enjoyed it. Then we have Azamanga Dayo, the Omnibus, volumes 1 to 4 inside it. Again, I spoke about this a bit with Yotsuba, but I love his work. He's he's just so funny, one of the funniest manga there is, so yeah, it's just for coma comedy. It's not much else to say. Just read it, it's really good. And that's the end of the back ones. I know that's probably probably a bit boring for you seeing only like a corner of the volumes but you know hope you don't mind too much then we have volume 1 to 34 of attack and tyson i'm pretty sure everyone knows what attack and tyson is complete um one of my favorite series it's just it's just about titans isn't it you probably already know that and kingdom but like the story just gets so good and just so complex and you just have to read it, it's like a one of a kind series. Then we've got A Silent Voice. This is like one of the, I don't know, it's it's just so good. It's it's so real, the, like the characters and everything. It's about a girl who is deaf and she has trouble speaking and stuff. And this boy who used to bully her in like primary school and stuff. And then now he goes to basically say sorry before he's going to kill himself and they become friends and it's just a really really heartwarming series that anyone should have i might sell these volumes and get the collector's edition that's going to be coming out soon so might do that don't know yet but yeah this series just pick it up one way or another monster tamer girl this is some random volume i have here just to fill a gap didn't like it. It's pretty bad. <laughs> Don't get it. There's only two volumes anyway. But yeah. Um, it's about monster tame. Jesus Christ. Couldn't speak that. It's about girls taming monsters. But it's just not that great. Assassination Classroom. Got the box set for this. Um, this is about an uh, alien who comes to Earth and he basically becomes a teacher and says for the students in his class to try and kill him before a time limit and if they don't kill him he'll destroy the world it's really good really funny it's got some really good drama and like it gets the last volume is so sad what happens to you because you grow to love these characters so much so really recommend it if you can get the box set it's a pretty good deal you can't remember it might be out of stock or out of print can't remember but yeah get a hold of it one way or another 
And then my last one up here is Niskoi, 1 to 25 complete. This is a Hallam drama uh, comedy. Or is that Hallam? So you sort of know what it's about. It's about a guy trying to get with one of the girls. Uh, pretty long running. It's pretty good. I think, I think like up to volume 15, it was like a, a really good Hallam. The endings just kind of got, it just dragged on. I think they could have ended it at like volume, like, I don't know, when they introduced the teacher character, this character here, I, I think it just kind of went downhill. It got so dragged out, but before that, it was pretty good. So yeah. And to, but if you just like Ham, you'll probably like it. It's really popular, got anime by Studio Shaft, which is good, so yeah. Then down to our last section, we have um, we have Knights of Sidonia one to seven. Um, watch the anime. We really like the anime. It's about like I think the last of humanity is living on a spaceship, and um, they have to use these mechs to defend the spaceship from aliens. And it's just really good. Love the art. I really love um, Tsutomu Nihei, he's just, he's just a really good author, I like his stuff a lot. Next to it, obviously by the same guy, Plan. it's, I don't know, it's just really gritty, really dark, the art's like really unique. Uh, I've got one, two, five, and then an extra volume two because it came damaged, and um, volume six is on the way, but I don't have it yet. And then we have... Sorry about that, the um, video stopped. So lastly, we're right at the end, so it didn't really matter, but um, we have volume two, three, and four, and an extra three of Chobits. I have an extra three because of, um, it came damaged, so I got a replacement, and volume one is still on the way. Uh, and then lastly, we have Claymore box set. I haven't read this yet. It's about these people called Claymores who have to kill monsters, I think. I haven't read it, so I can't really tell you a whole lot, but yeah, looking forward to it. And this box set is really nice. Glad I got it for a good price, because it's pretty expensive nowadays. But that has it for my collection. So, I hope you enjoyed. I hope it wasn't too boring or too long. Leave any feedback in the comments. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye.